Hey guys, today we're heading out to catch some big bull bluegills. I've got my cousins here going out fishing with me this morning. We're going to go out and see if we can catch some bigger than average bluegills. We're going for 9 inches or bigger. Uh, where the place we're going, there's potential for some trophy size gills. Up here in the north, you know, an 11 inch bluegill is pretty giant. So that's kind of what we're going to be going for today. And it's early summer now, which is a great time to catch a lot of these big gills. Uh, they've pretty much spawned everywhere. And after they spawn, a lot of them can be found up in shallower water, either wood or weeds. So the, the lake that we're going to fish, there's a lot of down wood. Uh, there's some weeds. We're going to go check these shorelines to see if we can find these fish. Now, uh, we were fishing this spot not that long ago. We found some of these, uh, we found a spot with some fish. So we're going to go out there and kind of really try to dial in, find where these fish are really concentrated, really figure out what the bite is. So I'm excited to get out there. Uh, I think we're going to have a good day. Uh, before we get out there, I'm going to show you really quick what I'm going to be using just because it's good. there's not going to be a ton of room in the boat. So I'm just going to show you right now. I'm going to be using a 7 foot, uh, me this is a light power, it's a 7 foot light power rod. This particular rod is a uh, St. Croix. I like, for me, I like longer rods. I've got 6 pound mono on here. Um, it works great. I love this rod. And I'm going to be fishing a really standard bluegill presentation. Little bobber under a 1 64th ounce jig. Bam. Just and I'll, I'll start out maybe a foot to a foot and a half, maybe two feet deep. Uh, a lot of times, these feeding bluegills this time of year, there's going to be you know different types of bug hatches and stuff. Plus, the water's a little bit shallower, the it's not uncommon to find the bluegills feeding up on the surface. So, I'm going to start out fishing <clears throat> uh, pretty shallow, not that far down. I'll adjust if, if, we, if we're not catching anything, we think these gills are running a little deeper or whatever we'll adjust out on the lake but this rod works really good it's 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 sensitive enough to feel the bites but it's an extra fast action with with this long rod you're able to get good hook sets even on big fish so let's get out on the lake and see if we can get some of these big gills uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be fishing some down wood you can kind of see here this whole shoreline has a scattered down trees there's trees in the water there's some weeds so we're just going to work this shoreline and see if we can find some big bluegills. Yes, Connor's got the first fish of the day. What do we got here, Connor? Oh, it's a nice, is that a Mondo? That's a nice, oh, look at that one. That's a big bluegill. Connor starts out with a, man, that's a, that's a good gill. That's at least nine, nine and a half. Logan, where's your bobber? It was just under Logan. It's under again. There's one. It, Logan's got a fish. I got to get my line in the water. That was, that was instant. It's turning the boat. It's got to be a decent one. It's turning. Oh, I'm on. There, I'm on. Logan's got a nice. Oh, I don't even know. If, that's a big one, Logan. If this is a, I don't even know if this is a gill. This might be a bass. This is big. No, it's a gill, and it's a nice one. This is gonna be a big gill, guys. Look at. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at that gill. That's a ten. Double. Oh. Logan, I with a double. This is a big bluegill, guys. Look at the size of that fish. Bam, that's what we're going for, these big summer gills. We found these gills pretty quick this time. Let's see that guy, oh yeah, nice fish. Nice bluegill. We found some down wood, and these gills are hanging in that wood. Logan went out for the, the deep guy. If I get, get one on, you're gonna have to reel in. Or put your rod tip this way. I'm just casting out, just working. So I've got a worm on a bobber right now. And what I'm just, uh, there's the fish. So I cast out and uh, just work it back to the boat. Oh yeah, look at this guy fight. These big bluegills pull. Man, this guy's dogging it. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this fish. This one is huge. Logan. That's a huge bluegill. Oh, look at the size of this fish. So this fish is just too big to keep. That's a that's a 10 incher. I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm gonna have to row us back up to get back on these fish. 
What I like to do is just cast out and then slowly work the bobber back to the boat, kind of just covering a lot of ground. Oh, shoot, that was a bad cast. Connor's pulling one in, though. Little baby. Little guy. That's the clear. He'll be, ooh, Logan with a big time hook set. All right, so I'm the only one fishing. I'm gonna recast and get into Primo area. There, I'm bit. Got him. Oh, we're, we're into the minis all of a sudden. We're gonna have to move. Yeah, I got pliers in my box, I think. What? Oh, it's a bass. Now that is a bass right there. <laughs> Little guy. I'm, I'm working a cast right now. Nice and slow, back to the boat. It's like when you get over a good stump, there's a few fish sometimes, and then you get casts like that where there's nothing. Look at that, those trees coming up. I'm calling it now. We're reeling into the boat. And look, oh, right at the boat. Amando. That, that's a big, look at the size of this gill, guys. That right there, that's a bluegill. Turn your tail the other way. That is a nice size bluegill. That tree looks like it would hold a lot of gills. And we know there's more wood in the water. Surprisingly, I did not get bit instantly. Ooh, Connor got it right up there. He's gonna get hit. We hope. So moving up and down the shoreline, we're kind of finding out that where we first started that way, there is, the fish have kind of been the most concentrated. But we're gonna keep moving down the shore. See, are we gonna hit pockets of fish? Oh, right at the boat, this guy's going, this guy's dogging. Look at this guy pull. This is a good fish. Oh man, look at this one. Oh, a tanker, guys. The size of this gill. That right there is a Mondo Blue Gill. That sucker is probably a 10. We have not gotten the coveted 11 inch bluegill yet. That is a nice bluegill. Logan's got a good fish here. We're really finding them stacking up in the weeds right now. Is that a, that's a gill, nice gill, Logan. Logan with a nice bluegill, yep. Nice bluegill. We're getting rained on right now. That's, that's a, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully this rain is almost over because it's really coming down. It's also not summer temperatures today in this rain. But the fish are biting, thankfully. And I'm out. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that bluegill. He's jumping right out of the water. This is a nice one. They're liking that little bit of purple. I'm surprised. Oh, you caught him on the purple one? Yeah, look at that guy. That's a nice gill right there. Big old bluegill. This is a nice fish. He's turning the boat for us. The boat was facing the wrong way. Look at this. Oh yeah. That's a pretty fish. It's a good, good size fish. Connor's on. We found some. When, it's, when a bluegill's peeling drag, you know it's nice. How does he feel, Connor? He's turning the boat now too much. Is it a bass? Yeah. All right, that's why he's pulling so hard. It's running so. It's like it got cold. It's raining, and uh, nice little bass. It got cold and rainy, and the fish have really slowed down. 